Okay guys, today I want to do a memory dump before I forget how Windows Subsystem for Linux WSL2 was installed on my computer. So as you can see I made a screenshot because I cannot go back on this laptop. But this is what I noticed that Windows version 2004 was ready to be downloaded and installed on my computer. I did it. After that I got an optional optional update here we go I got one cumulative update which I did today and after that I try to run my docker which I'm not allowing to run always with the startup of the computer so I try to run docker and as you can see I got this message your system supports Windows subsystem for Linux 2 I was using Windows subsystem for Linux 1 and I had Ubuntu installed of course not the graphical user interface just the console but whatever terminal I was using it so it says here docker desktop can use Windows subsystem for Linux 2 instead of Hyper-V because I was using Hyper-V and I'm still using it provide better performance as well as interoperability with your WSL2 uh, distros. Uh, existing containers and images won't be moved to the WSL2 backend. This is what I noticed. My images and containers has been left in Hyper-V. You can revert to Hyper-V. Can I get a... <coughs> you can revert to Hyper-V, sorry about that, in the general settings and your data will still be present, which is great. If you want to delete your Hyper-V data, you can do that in the tro uh, troubleshooting menu. Hmm. In the troubleshooting menu, I'm not gonna go there right now, because I need my data. And when I said OK, use WSL, this is what it says. Install WSL using this PowerShell script in administrator uh, WSL2 is not installed. Blah blah. Even though I had WSL1. So now what I did is I followed this tutorial which comes from Microsoft, of course. Windows System for Linux Installation Guide for Windows 10. Install the Windows Subsystem for Linux and it gives you the command how you install the Windows Subsystem for Linux. After that, update to VSL2, how to update. It says that you have to have um, this version. By the way, let me, let me try this. Oh. And I'm going to run, what was it, Winver. Okay, and this is what I'm running. Version 2004, OS build 1941-450. So this is what I'm running. 19 of, uh, okay, RM Systems 41. Let me do it again. I kind of like it. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so, it reflects exactly the requirements. Enable virtual machine platform optional component. Actually, this wasn't enabled on my machine and that's why it hasn't been able to run WSL2. So, when I start typing features, Turn Windows features on and on, on and off. Virtual Machine Platform. This is what I did. I just checked Virtual Machine Platform. I clicked OK. And after that, I restarted my machine. When I run PowerShell as administrator and try to run this command, this is what I got. Uh, let me see now. Restart now. Here we go. Oh.
Okay, download Linux kernel. This is what I did. Notice Hyper-V is not running. Docker is here. Okay. So, I got one error. In order to avoid this error, the documentation says the following. You may see this message after running that comment. WSL2 requires an update to its kernel component. For information, please visit blah, 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 blah. So, I guess this is exactly what I did. Here we go. Subsystem for Linux. When you go there, Akka. And this is what you get. Actually, I opened this many times. As I, as I see here, this is on Bulgarian language, which I don't need. But this is what the documentation says here about the installation. Please follow the link and install the MSI from the page on our documentation to install a Linux kernel. So when you click on this link, actually, I have this page opened already. This is what you get. You have to update your Linux kernel. So this was the next step which I did. I downloaded this file, which is here. And I run it. After the successful install, I have been able to switch right now and make my Windows subsystem for Linux 2 the default system because one is still pre present there. By the way, I have in WSL1 I have Ubuntu installed, and if I run Ubuntu, I will, it's already running actually in one of the windows. As you can see, it has zero problems running here. It still runs in WSL1, I guess. I believe so. So it's not proven. I have to. This is speculation. I have to prove that. I have to. I have to find a way to prove it. But right now, this is the situation. Download the Linux kernel. Now, when I run the Docker the next time and I open Hyper-V, as you can see, notice Hyper-V is not running the machine the virtual machine. But look at this, the docker is running. When I run the usual comments, docker ps, docker ps minus minus all, no containers, no images, no volumes, nothing. So my data actually remains in Hyper-V. No images, no volumes. So I went to the settings and I turned it off this option. Use the WSL2 based engine. Here are all the options. You can see all the options. It's not very well seen. But enable Kubernetes. I haven't enabled Kubernetes right now, even though I'm running uh, Minikube. So this is what I did. I disabled and it, it says apply and restart, as you can see here. Apply and restart. And after applying and restarting, look, the machine now it's running. So this is how you switch between Docker running in Hyper-V and Docker running with using WSL2 engine. Uh, sorry, I cannot go back on this machine and show you everything, but I, I have done it already. So those are all my containers running now, but Docker is running in Hyper-V. And that's it. Actually, this concludes the video. Here I'm running my usual containers and this is the most important option thank you so i did this memory dump